the film is called Making News, and uh, it really started from this place of trying to understand what reporters, editors, um, what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. We follow around a show host at a radio station, an editor at uh, Charlotte's uh, local newspaper, uh, and a couple different reporters, one for um, a TV station, and then one, again, for a radio station. Getting inside that world was really the point of, of the film. My name is Tim Grant, and I am the writer, director, and editor of Making News. Right now I'm just looking around at different news sources, trying to get a feel for what's out there. Well, we take our news from a variety of different sources, I look at websites, look at the newspaper website here in Charlotte. We watch the first 10 minutes of local newscast on TV. So we're kind of spreading a wide net to try and figure out what all of the news stories are. What's going on, Haas? Where'd you get this? Did you get this out? Marshall is, is another set of eyes and ears. He's very important early in the shift in helping me kind of get a feel for what I call the newscape. All you gotta do is throw in a sentence about Just all of the news that is out there that we could be putting on our airways. So is, is that come together. from? Cite the observer here. That came from Max DA? Picking the individual ones that actually make the cut, sometimes that can be challenging for me because Scott and I don't always agree on which stories maybe should make the cut and which ones shouldn't make yeah. the cut. Hey, I don't think we're gonna do the man falling down a well story. Why not? After we've identified what stories we're going to pursue, Marshall usually helps me write between one and two news stories every hour. All right, your story will be the third one in our newscast. So even just that one story in each newscast makes my job a little bit easier, so I can maybe focus a little bit more on the on-air breaks. He's coming up in 20 minutes on WFAE. 69 in Charlotte right now.